Um, my name is Sarah Pike. I'm a buyer specialist on Anderson and Associates here at Keller Williams Realty. Um, hobbies. Um, we recently bought a house, so my hobbies have kind of changed or gone by the wayside. <laughs> my new hobby now is home projects. We've been painting the whole house. We, we, the house is bigger than what we had previously, so we've had to buy new furniture when we're refurnishing furniture and kind of repurposing things. So my hobbies have now gone to DIY. <laughs> Before, um, you know, it was very much outside, things with Pete, hiking with Jonathan, getting out, trying new things like that, or going to a movie. I don't think we've been to a movie since like December or so. Um, I love helping. I love helping other people. Um, I don't know if it's a selfish thing because I love the appreciation too. <laughs> but um, if I see somebody else struggling or stressed out, if that stresses me out. I'm very empathetic in that way. Um, so if it's something I can do to relieve pressure, I always try to do that with the team. And my mentality behind it is, you know, if I'm showing stress and I'm under pressure, I know someone's gonna help me in return. You know, the golden rule, treat others the way you wanna be treated. Um, that's my mantra. When pe okay, this one's getting a little bit deep, but judgment, okay? So if I ask a question that's a stupid question, don't make me regret asking the question because then I'm not gonna ask any other questions and I won't learn anything. So that's something I learned very young is don't make fun of someone for asking a stupid question. I just answer honestly and that's it. Because you never want to make someone uncomfortable to ask a question. That's my biggest pet peeve is, is judging someone for asking a stupid question. Okay. Favorite family <laughs> tradition um, it would have to be chicken foot. I don't know. <laughs> if anyone has ever heard of this game, but it's a dominoes game, okay? And it's like nine rounds, and there's a scorekeeper, and each person, it's very much like golf, where you wanna have a low score, and the highest score loses. Um, Irma, my grandmother, keeps score every year. Um, she always wins, which is tricky. Younger, I just, being a younger person, I thought it was just because she was lucky, but now I think it's her math. Um, but it is a dominoes game that we play through the years. It has evolved. My grandparents also have a hallway of strange hats at their little lake house. And so it's a tradition that everybody put a, puts on a funny hat. And if you're having bad luck in the game, you probably need to go change your hat because you're, it's just not working out well for you. Um, and then, you know, at the end of the round, whoever wins yells chicken foot. Um, and now that we're in our late 20s, it's definitely a drinking game as well. So that's that's evolved too, but that's my favorite family tradition. What's your favorite movie? Oh, the Harry Potter series. I could rewatch and rewatch. Honestly, the Harry Potter books I have reread eight times, all of them. Um, love it. Love the new um, movie that's out that's based off the Harry Potter series. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, magical Creatures. Magical. What's the name? No, it's the book. It's the the name Creatures. Of the book. The Beast. Magical Beast? Mystical Beast? We will put the name of the movie here that I'm talking about, okay? I don't know. That's a good one too. What is this called? I don't know. Pet